I'm back. We're doing a bonus show today, bonus podcast today. The Flow Racing Mav TV Plus deal has been announced, and we will talk you through it. Let's go. Because you've already watched and listened to the daily today, I'm not going to say what day it is. Actually, it's Thursday, June 30th. Anyway, Flow Racing Mav TV Plus deal has been announced. Normally for my shows, I'm going to sound a little different because normally I write a script and I have all kinds of tight stuff to talk about. But uh, I'm just going to go off the cuff with this. I have the press release in front of me along with the email from Mav TV Plus uh, so we can talk through what the options are. Uh, but if you are unaware, Mav TV Plus Flow Racing, this deal has been kind of in the works for a while. Uh, we originally talked about this on the June 13th Daily Show that maybe something was happening. Uh, and then the days since then, I've had a bunch of people in the industry kind of confirm that things were ongoing. Uh, and we were kind of just waiting for this announcement. And of course, the moment I get done recording today's Daily Show, then the announcement comes out that the deal is done. So according to the release that was uh, put out this morning, uh, it says Flow Racing and Mav TV Plus will begin co-streaming Mav TV Plus program to their respective subscribers starting today uh, through midnight on Tuesday, July 26th. On Wednesday, July 27th, Map TV Plus program will be exclusively streamed through Flow Racing. So Map TV Plus will basically not be a thing anymore. And there's all kinds of questions now about if you're one subscriber or the other, what does that mean for you? Uh, I am actually a subscriber of both. Uh, I have actually my Mav TV Plus subscription literally just renewed like a day or two ago. Uh, so here is the information uh, from the email for Mav TV Plus subscribers so you can get uh, an idea of what to expect here in the next couple of weeks. So we obviously know uh, today through June 26th, starting June 27th, uh, then everything will change. Uh, it says your current Mav TV Plus account will remain active until midnight on July 26th unless it expires before that date. If your subscription expires before July 27th, it will not auto renew and you will uh, not see any future charges from Mav TV Plus upon expiration. You will no longer gain or you no longer have access to Mav TV Plus will be uh, able to sign up for Flow Racing to gain access to all future Mav TV programming. Uh, it also says if your subscription expires after July 27th, so like mine would, you will be refunded for a portion of your subscription. Your refund will be processed within 30 to 45 days after July 26th. So again, if you are a Mav TV Plus subscriber and your subscription runs past July 27th, well, you will receive some measure of a refund. If you already have a Flow Racing, uh, Flow Racing subscription, you will have immediate access to new live Map TV Plus programming on Flow Racing. So for those of you that are not a uh, Map TV Plus subscriber, just Flow, nothing changes for you. You just get to watch all the uh, all the Map stuff now. And then it says Flow Sports is offering current Map TV Plus annual plan subscribers who do not already have a Flow Racing account a special one-time discount of $51 off to sign up with Flow Racing. And there's a link in the email. Uh, so uh, go search that out if you are not a Flow subscriber, but you are a Map TV Plus subscriber. Check your email and click that link you can get some money off uh, the, it says the special discounted rate is only available till midnight on november 1st uh, so big news today all of the map tv plus programming coming to flow racing so uh if you are a Flow Racing subscriber, you now have access to the Lucas Ole Model Dirt Series, a lot of Power Eye stuff, uh, Lucas Ole Speedway weekly things. There's all kinds of racing that happens uh, over on, on Map TV and Map TV Plus. Obviously, the Chili Bowl is going to be a part of that in the future as well. So, a lot more great content coming for Flow Racing. And over the last couple of weeks, I've seen a lot of you guys kind of react to this. It's a good thing. It's a bad thing. I think generally net, this is a very good thing. I think a little bit of consolidation in the streaming space is definitely not a bad thing. Um, and this will mean that you get a lot more racing for a lot less money. You don't have to spend 150 bucks for flow and then an additional hundred dollars from app TV plus you kind of just get it all uh, for just that one price. And I definitely think that's a good thing. Uh, and obviously Mav TV plus they're, you know, a big reason why they're doing this is because they've had so many issues with the website, with the app, with the streams. Uh, and obviously the hope is here now that you get this kind of access to the knowledge base that is flow racing, you know, Michael Rigsby and his entire team of people uh, that you will have a lot less of these issues. Plus the kind of the existing flow racing infrastructure will help the app situations and you'll be able to watch it on your TV through the, you know, the various apps that flow racing has or on your mobile device. So uh, I think that's a net good for, for everybody involved. It's obviously a huge get for flow racing, adding the Lucas OLA model dirt series, um, you know, to that platform and being able to offer those races to flow subscribers, I think is, is a huge get. So again, I think this this is a net good. I think we're going to see, you know, the quality of, of what we would normally see from Mav TV like get better. I also think you're not going to have some of those um, issues in terms of customer service and, and outages and things like that. A lot of that stuff should uh, hopefully smooth out here now going forward. 
Uh, but again, uh, great work here by everybody involved to kind of get this handled. Uh, excited to see what the future holds. Um, and like I said, I think this is good. I think this is a good thing. We'll, we'll have, uh, you know, kind of more thoughts and stuff as, as we see this kind of transition happen. And obviously the, the business of, of dirt racing is something we talk about quite a bit. Um, on our show, on my show. Uh, so we'll continue to kind of follow this as it progresses. But uh, Michael Rigsby and all of his people did a great job on this one. I think it happened a little bit later than I than I think they initially thought it would. I think it took a little bit longer to kind of get some of this uh, deal making done and, and get all of this kind of worked out. And and I'm sure there's still more things to work out here as well. But, uh, but again, I think this is a good thing. Draw me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. Are you a subscriber of both? Are you one or the other? If you're not a subscriber, is this going to make you want to subscribe? Uh, uh, certainly uh, curious what you guys' uh, thoughts are on all of this. But um, again, good thing. I'm excited for the future for everybody here. Um, I, I think there is a lot of good stuff to come. And, and obviously, we, we see streaming continuing to evolve, continuing to change. Um, and, you know, this is just kind of part of that nature of, of how this is going to work. This is all still incredibly new. Um, but uh, you definitely seeing Flow and, and Dervision continue to separate themselves um, kind of as the top two dogs here. And, and now, obviously, you know, Mav TV Plus was kind of up there just because they had the Lucas Oil A Model Dirt Series stuff. Um, so now you're kind of taking that player out of it. And I think that pushes flow racing even uh, a little bit further ahead there in terms of uh, of where they are. And, and I, I don't think we're done seeing consolidation yet on the streaming side. I'm sure we will see more in the future. Um, but I, I do think we are probably at a point where um, you know, the, the big stuff that's available in dirt racing, the big series, the big events are all going to be available through these probably one or two services. And then everything else you're going to find is going to be much smaller. Um, and, and those bigger services aren't going to worry about some of the local and smaller regional stuff because there's not going to be as much money to be made on that. So there will kind of be a line, I think, drawn in the sand about, you know, certain types of events will appear on certain types of streamers. But if it's a big series or a big event, it will probably be on just these couple. But uh, let me know what you think. Uh, excited for this. Um, if you need a Flow Racing subscription and you don't have one, you can click the link below in the description or the Flow Racing links over at DirtTracker.com and go ahead and grab yourself a subscription. That helps me out as well to, uh, at no extra cost to you. But curious to see what you guys have to say. Uh, let me know in the comments. Tweet at me. Send me an email. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow on Friday for more Dirt Tracker Daily.